Hey loves, it's Pink Vintage here back with another video today sharing another bag that my baby got for me from Dillard's. This one was originally $2.98 and it's called the Elisa. It is a very, very, very sophisticated looking bag. I'm trying to get the lighting right for you guys. Okay, there it is. It has those Birkin style handles where they do not articulate. They just stay straight up and down, which is cool because, for example, on the Florentine satchel, there you go, the handles do come up and down, but when they flex, they can also leave an impression in the leather. And I'm going to take a break from this one until my Apple Care comes in the mail. I did order it from Amazon. Um, and it was suggested that I use this by a couple of Donanisas, including the Pecan Tan Beauty. So um, I'm definitely going to order that to keep my bag looking good. I did get a few raindrops on the back of it. I don't know if you guys can see right there. So I do want a clean condition. And I ordered the... Um, the blue can for the apple leather care that's kind of like a um, stain and water repellent and I also ordered the conditioner and the cleanser so um, I have two separate orders coming in one with the conditioner cream and cream cleanser and the stain repellent so back to the Elisa really quickly I just want to show you guys what fits it was on sale for 128 right? 128 at Dillard's they had the additional 30% off Plus, if you applied for it, a dealer's card, you received an additional um, discount. So this one reminds me of the old school Dooney and Burke. Like when I was in high school, the bags that all the girls carry that I told you guys about in another video that I used to really, really love. And a lot of people say that it has that Birkin style to them because of how you close it, which is you pull the flap down and you stick the leather tongue through the class and it says Dooney and Burke 1975 is actually engraved in the hardware and the stitching has a great contrast going all around so just to get in what fits basically the bag is tall enough to fit most of the items that I had in my Florentine satchel and I did not pack it because it gets so heavy so basically, and sorry for the lighting because it is raining right now, so it's kind of like shadowy in the background. Um, but I'm going to try to adjust the settings on the video once it's complete. But in the back pocket, I just keep my jewelry when I take it off and my small pair of beads. And I normally keep my cell phone in the slip pocket in front of the zip. And I've been doing it in all of my donies lately. So, I did put my pochette back in, as well as my Dooney wristlet. So, I'm carrying both of them. This one is more so of a receipt holder right now. And this one still has makeup inside. So, in addition to that, I have my agenda and my key holder. Not a whole, whole lot in this bag. Um... My coin case and my old iPhone. So I needed to get a number out of there. And again, I have started keeping my card case, which I'm using as a wallet, inside of this pocket. So other than that, I have my glasses in the skinny little slip pocket in the front. And in the back, I have a lotion so that it won't spill. But that's one of the features that I really liked was this back slip pocket, which is kind of weird at first, but once you start getting receipts and moving around, you'll definitely need a place to just toss stuff until you can actually get back to where you're going to organize yourself. But I like this one because you can dress it up or down. Today I have on a sundress, but you can also wear this with jeans, t-shirts, business suits. I just think it's a very classy looking bag. So it just depends on your outfit and your preference. But 128 right now at Dealers, they do have the 30% off. So I just wanted to show you guys really quickly and to kind of do a quick update 
on the Florentine satchel. I was planning to switch, but I already switched into this bag last night. So I recorded a video, but it didn't show up too good because of the lighting. So to update you guys on the natural, still looks really good outside of those watermarks, which I'm planning to clean, condition, and apply some um, stain repellent, water repellent. So that is the Elisa in the pale blue color. They have a really beautiful fuchsia color like this. Also, they were sold out in the stores, but online they still have some bags if anyone is interested. So, um, I'll be doing a review on some sunglasses for you guys. I actually had someone to reach out to ask me to review them and to post the actual comments um, on their site. So, I will update that for you guys shortly. Thanks for watching. Peace and namaste.